Hi guys, so today I'll be showing you if you have a MacBook and if you have an iPad, how you can mirror your screen wirelessly without having any kind of wire connection among both of the devices. So it's a fairly simple process uh, with a new iOS update. Let's see what type of update do I have. So I have this one, Mac OS Catalina, and that's the version that I'm using, um, this one or the newer one depending on when you're watching this video. Um, so I'll be showing you how you can mirror your image. So it's a fairly simple process, guys. You know, if you have a newer iPad or even the older one with the uh, proper iOS uh, update. Um, and let's see which iOS update this one have. So this is a 13.1.2. And uh, for you to mirror your image, I'm gonna show you a few things that you need to check first. So uh, the first thing you need to go on is uh, go to this Apple icon, click on about this Mac, and then over here, you're gonna see the displays. So once you go to the display, you can click on display preferences. And over here, uh, if this icon is not clicked, make sure you click it. And uh, air display right now is off. If you click on it, if you're, iPad is connected on the same Wi-Fi network, you should see it right here. So in my case, I'm seeing it iPad Pro X. And if I click on this, you'll see. There you go, bingo. So you see the exact replica of this screen on both the screens. Now, another thing, what that check mark did was it brought up this screen right here on top, this right here. And what exactly this does is it gives you different options. You can disconnect it. You can also mirror the built-in retina display, you know, uh, the sidecar display, or you can use it as, se as a separate display. And this is something I do as an extended desktop. So an extended desktop is something, if you're working on this screen, you can move it over onto the next one while you're working on this screen. So uh, it kind of helps, you know, this is, some of the, this is one of the things that I use it for. It helps me a lot doing different video editing and things like that. Uh, it's quite helpful, you know, or if you're working on a two separate Excel sheet, you know, you can have it side by side. So here you can see my resolution came out pretty good. Uh, I didn't have to mess around with the resolution part. So in case if yours is not, not coming out right, you can always adjust that. So uh, guys, that's pretty much it, you know, with the new iPad and the new iPad Pro and the latest iOS uh, software update i'm able to mirror my screen and extend my desktop just on a regular ipad um so it saves me a bunch of hassle of connecting wires and things like that so hopefully it helps you guys connect yours and um, use your wireless display or your ipad as a wireless display so if you guys like the video please subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you